Welcome to the Medical Menemis Podcast, your source for memory techniques and accelerated learning in higher education. Now, here's your host, Chase DeMarco. Hello, and welcome back to today's episode. This is going to be a little bit different. I want to discuss some of the things that are coming up in this year, some of the things that I'm working on, some of the things that have recently occurred that you will see down the pipeline as we begin to work on them. So one of the things which I'm really excited about is I just finished my first public speech regarding this type of material, and it was at the Mensa Regional Gathering here in Florida. I think it went pretty well considering I had a day and a half to prepare for it and my mic clip broke right when I got there and a load of other things that can usually happen when you try to do speaking engagements. But this brings up an interesting point because something that I've wanted to try to implement a little bit more is to actually speak at medical schools and conferences and healthcare schools in general. So if you are someone that might be able to work that out at your local school, shoot me a message. I would really like to know who to speak to and if this is material that might be relevant to your fellow students and to your school. I should have the video up in the next couple of days, possibly even before this episode gets posted. So youtube.com slash freemeded. So you can go there and check out the conversation that I gave there and see if that's something that might be doable at your school. And I can use the same topics discussed there or discuss different things that are mentioned more in the podcast. Of course, it depends on the audience. The other one I alluded to previously, and there's been some discussion on the Facebook group about, is I'm trying to open up my time slots to personally instruct people a little bit more, to give that one-on-one instruction that some of you really would like and I think is very useful. Of course, there will be limited spots right now as my time's really tight working on all these projects, but I'd want to give back as much as I can. So there are a couple ways I can see this happening. Right now, anyone is still free to email me at medicalnemonist at gmail or via any of our social media pages for the Medical Nemonist or for Free Med Ed. And if you contact me directly through those links, I will get back to you at some point. It might take a few days, sometimes even a week or two, depending on the schedule. They're relatively low priority, unfortunately, with everything else going on. But you can always reach out to me for free in that manner, and I can try to advise you in any manner that you see fit. The second one, which I'm going to do limited time for free, is going to be a quick 10-minute conference call. So anyone interested can go to the link in the show notes or can go to bookme.name slash Chase DeMarco. I will create a short link for this eventually and put it up on the website, add an extra page to the website for consultation so the links will be available there. But for the time being, since I haven't done that, if you want to go to bookme.name slash Chase DeMarco or hit the link in the show notes, then you can schedule a free 10-minute consultation with me. I should probably point out that not every slot will be accepted. It will depend on my availability. And if I do have to cancel a slot or move it around, I'll try to leave you a note so that you know it's okay to schedule another time, just that time slot's not available. This will be a work in progress. There might be some bumps in the road, but I will do my best to accommodate as many of you as I can, but there's no guarantee for this free service. This will allow you to discuss any issues you're having with prioritization, with scheduling your materials, with creating visual markers, with obstacles you've run into in your personal studies. Now you might be thinking, well, 10 minutes, I can't really get a lot done there. And that's why this is a free console. It's just to kind of see where you're at and see if I'm even a good fit for you. And if that is the, and if you want to explore further consultation, I am thinking about opening up a 30 and 60 minute window for limited numbers of students to schedule longer meetings. These, however, will probably not be free. It's just not feasible to do that on a regular basis, but I'm going to do my best to keep them affordable. I know that if you use online medical tutors, they can be upwards of $150 to $300 per hour. I will definitely not be charging that, but at the same time, Some of this is going to be very time consuming and taxing, and I want to be able to do this in a sustainable manner for everyone involved. Depending on how this goes, maybe we can even just doing some sort of group tutoring session, mentorship session, and that would be at a discounted price because it will be multiple students at the same time. With the different time zones that many of us are in, I know that could be difficult, but it's just an idea I'm throwing around right now. If you would like something like that, Again, feel free to email medicalnemonist at gmail or hit us up on any of the social media accounts. And please do post in our 
Facebook group that'll help really get people aware of what's going on and which ways we're leaning as far as future products and where to focus limited amounts of time on. One more event that's coming up this year, probably in the next few months, is FreeMedEd is trying to host the first online medical education virtual summit, at least the first one by the name of Online Medical Education Summit. And this will basically consist of many of the guests you've heard on past interviews and other educators and other online resources coming, giving lectures, giving discounts potentially at the event. It's basically going to be an online concert type event. All of the vendors there will also have their own private virtual booths, which will allow students to go in and ask them questions, get discounts that might be available for that vendor, etc. The exact lineup is still in the works, but I'm hoping to be able to update everyone within the next couple of weeks via this show. Which brings us to the next topic of this show. I've really, really enjoyed this past year of creating this material, of interviewing these really informative and knowledgeable experts in their relative fields and disseminating this information to all of you. So for this new year, I do want to take a slightly different path. There will still be some of the old scheduling aspect, the interviews conducted, and the occasional tutorial narrative type episode from me. However, I'm trying a new platform as well. This is going to be more summative episodes, at least for the next couple of weeks, that will take the highlights from all of the dozens of past interviews and the past episodes and the information that I've learned since then, and also probably intermix with some of the one-on-one student information and the student consulting that has been going on and then will be going on in the near future. These summative episodes take a long time to create, however, so for the next couple of weeks, it is likely that we won't be posting on a weekly basis like we usually do. I mean, it requires me to go through all of the old episodes, re-listen to them, take notes on the timestamps on which parts I want to cut out, then come back, add all of these dozens of different clips together, add my narrations in between them. It's just a whole process, and I haven't really done this type of episode before, so there's going to be a bit of a learning curve for the first couple. The bonus here is that all of you that are new to the show, or even if you've listened to every episode but don't remember everything from every episode, as I did not either, will now have these summative episodes that you can come back and listen to at any point and get the best and the highlights of a year of information and interviews. They'd also be great episodes to introduce any of your classmates to so that they can get some of the condensed versions of all the information we've gone over and evidence-based practices that we've attempted to explore through past episodes. So I think that's about it. If you are interested in the material, do check out our YouTube page in a few days or possibly right now and see if the Mensa convention presentation is up there. I generally don't like showing my face, which is why I really enjoy these podcasts. It lets me kind of hide. But for this, you actually get to see me in action. Um, Hopefully it's not too bad. If you do know anyone that might be interested in some personal tutoring, or if you know anyone within your school that might like me to come and present there, let me know who to contact or have them contact me. Keep an ear out for the Online Medical Education Summit. At least that's the tentative name at this point. So details will follow on that. And I almost forgot to mention that thank you for those of you that have purchased our book, Read This Before Medical School, and mentioned it on social media especially, or if you've left a review on Amazon, we really appreciate it. That helps to get the word out. Despite this podcast, many people don't listen to podcasts. It's hard to get your information out there. So if you find it valuable, please go leave a review. If you find it useful, please do tag us in your social media posts. Make sure that other people can find us as well. It's immensely helpful, and we really do appreciate all of you that do that. And, of course, I do want to emphasize now more than ever, if you have not subscribed, to do so, because our release dates are going to be a little bit more sporadic now, and especially with the quality of these upcoming episodes, I don't want you to wait and miss them for a couple of weeks, because these will be the highlights that you can start implementing right away. So do hit that subscribe button, and I want to thank you for listening to the show. Please pass it on to your friends. Continue to listen. Thank you all for your support. We hope you enjoyed this episode. For links to connect to us, email us, or for previous episodes, please see the show notes. We'd also love to hear from you, so please send an email or join us on the Medical Anemonist Mastermind Facebook group. Any ideas, tips, tricks, people that you'd like to hear interviewed, we'd love to hear it. Any advice to make the show better and more enjoyable would be greatly appreciated.